First of all, let's take a paper and draw the petal template. For the first layer of the petal, I will draw it in 35cm top. Actually, there's no rule about how to draw the petal. Just use the pencil so that we can adjust until satisfied. Look, we draw half of the petal. Let's cut it out. And then fold the paper and cut out the other half of the petal. Okay, the first petal was completed. Okay, look, I mixed three templates and now let's use it to cut out the petal. And then take our organza and fold to six layers so that I can cut out six of the petal by once. It looks really simple, but it's not easy to align the fabric. Okay, let's cut out the petal. We don't need to cut it really careful. Just roughly, the string will be okay. I got the organza petal. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six petal. Okay, and on the bottom, cut a little bit off. Okay, all the petal were cut out. And then let's check the petal. Look, look at the edge of the petal. I didn't cut it smoothly. The edge of the petal not smooth. Uh, it's okay. The thread will not come out. We can direct use this petal to make the flowers. Uh, if we want to do more, uh, to make the flower much more pretty, we can hit the edge and make the wrinkle. Okay, I will show you. Look, take our candle and use the heat to fix the edge of the petal. Look, we can fix the petal like this. Don't worry about the wrinkle. To make it much more wrinkle, the effect of the flower will be much more pretty. Of course, you can use this petal without heating the edge of the petal. The come out will be pretty also. Okay, then the following, we need to make the iron wire to support the petal. Look, the iron wire. Don't just on the top of the petal. Just a little bit lower will be better. Okay, we need to take the length of the petal. Okay, now the following, we need to stick the iron wire onto the petal. Uh, we can use hot glue or we can use screw. Uh, I will show you both. And let's check the advantage and shortage. But before we group them together, we need to put on the paper like this. Look, this paper very smooth on surface. The reason of using this paper because uh, the group or whole group will stick the petal together with your table if you don't use this paper. Okay, let's start in with the hot group. To be careful, because the hot group is hot, don't be hurt. Okay, look, we can take the petal very easily. If we don't put this paper, the group will stick the iron wire, the fabric, and the things under the fabric. Okay, let's finish the other iron wire. The advantage of using hot group that is very easy to dry. We don't have to wait one day to wait for the group dry. Ah, uh, I forgot to stick a soft iron wire on the petal because we 
want to use this short iron wire to insert on our machine. Okay, one petal was completed. Okay, now let's try to make the petal by using group. Look, I cut the iron wire longer than the petal because my hand need to hold on the iron wire. Look, take our group and put some group on the iron wire. Okay, and then stick on the petal. To make sure the group are between the petal and the iron wire. Okay, the other iron wire. Okay, we stick the iron wire and the petal together. But since we are using the group, so we need to put them about one day to make sure the group was dry and sturdy. Okay, the group will dry. Let's check the effect. This petal stick with group and this stick with hot group. Let's check the difference. Look. Uh, stick with group. The play, this play will be much more clean, but actually the effect is better. And this group, look, the group, we can see it very clearly. But ignore the color of the group. Look at my group stick. I keep it over five years. So the color changed from transparent to yellow. Ignore the color. So the one thing by using the groups is the effect will be much more pretty than using hot group. But if you are good at handwork, and using better good stick, the come out will be pretty also. And then let's check the iron wire and the petal. Uh, the iron wire stick on the petal very sturdy if using hot group. But using the group, look, the group didn't fully stick them together. It's not because of the quality of the group. It's not easy for a handicraft knowledge to fully apply the group on the iron wire. Of course, if you are good at handwork, no matter the group or the hot group, the come out will be pretty. But if you are not good at crafter, recommend to use the hot group. Okay, all the petal will come pretty. Look, for the largest petal, the iron wire will stick in the middle. And the other petal, I stick on the right side and left side. Okay, now let's install them together. Very simple. Take each of the petal, stick them together with hot glue. Apply the hot glue on the largest petal. And then the small petal. Okay, three of the petal will stick together. Uh, pay attention that the side of the iron wire which stick on should be in the same direction. And now let's fix the button. Look, remember three iron wire we stick on the petal. Okay, we adjust like this and then trim the petals. Look, the petals will stick together and the iron wire will adjust like this. And now let's bend the petals. Look, for example, the flowers. So we need to bend this part. Okay. And now let's bend for this part. Uh, there's no rule about how to bend the petals. Just bend it randomly. We can adjust after we install on the machine. Okay, look. For example, the flowers and the flowers. Like this. Okay, now let's install on the machine. Look, this is the blooming machine. If you want to buy this machine, you can inbox me via Facebook page. The link to my Facebook page are on the description below this video. 
Okay, now let's install the petal. Look, the iron wire insert in the hole will be okay. The iron wire is long. When we assemble the flowers, we need to cut it soft. Anyway, let's go ahead. Of course, this is the way how I assemble the flowers. And this is not the only way. I'm sure there's another way to assemble and better. Normally, we should apply some hot glue to stick the petal and the machine. But since I just making the sample and I will use the machine for other fabric. So I don't apply the glue. Just bend the iron wire to make it firm. I just bend it. Okay. Then the next petal. Okay, the flower will assemble. And now let's adjust the petal to make the shin. Okay, look, this is the effect after I adjust every petal. And now, let's make the flower cord. Okay, let's use this foam ball to make the flower cord. Uh, just cut a little bit out will be okay. And then use the tool to just go through the ball. And on this end, we need to cut out a little bit also. Because we need to install the LED light. And if you don't install the LED light, you can skip this procedure. We need to install the light, so we have to go on. Just cut out a little bit, will be okay. And we need to make larger, because we need to install the light. Okay, then let's decorate the ball. Uh, since our organza is very transparent, so if we just cover with the fabric, the come out not pretty. So how about we cover with the paper or the paper and the fabric? Okay, let's try. And then let's apply some hot glue on the bottom. There's no rule. Just try your best to cover. The paper will be okay. Don't cover the button because this foam ball will stick on the machine. Now let's put on the organza also. Okay, let's make another round of hot glue. Apply more hot glue to make sure the fabric stick on the ball. And make a hole for the LED light. Okay, then let's make the statement with the iron wire and the artificial pearl. First of all, let's measure the statement we want to make. Okay, I make 12 of the iron wire in different lengths. And then look, insert on the foam ball and then bend the iron wire and then group on it. Okay, look, completed. Now let's put on the machine to check the side. Okay, let's put on the ball and check the effect. It looks the iron wire is top. Let's adjust the length of the iron wire and put on the pearl. Okay, I adjust the length of the wire and stick more iron wire on it. Now, let's stick the pearl. 
Very simple to apply some hot glue on the iron wire and insert stick the pearl. Okay, the heart was completed. Now let's install the line. Just go through the hole we make. Uh, put some hot glue to stick them together. But since I just make the sample, so I will use double face tape later. Okay, let's install our flower cone. Let's zoom in. Look, there are some holes on the machine. Be careful. The foam, look. This foam. To avoid to drop in the hole. Because this is a machine. Apply some group on the ball. Stick on the machine. Then plunk in the electric wire. Okay, everything completed. Let's check the effect in darker environment. Look, ah, oh, there's a sensor attached on the flowers. Look, the sensor. Can you see the red line? This is the sensor. Check my left. Okay. So as soon as someone approaches, the flower blows. Of course, you can remove the sensor.